Hey everybody, Roy Diamonds Too Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Wife Blesses with Lewis video, Cop Plants Fake Gun on Black Teen. This video was once again requested, guys. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, I don't see you laughing anymore, Marcus. We'll see who's laughing when the department finds this loaded weapon in the back of your car. What? That's not mine. And you know that. Hey, what's up, guys? We have been on a long hiatus. We took a vacation, but we're coming back with the channel. I just want to say thank you to everyone that reached out to me. I know a lot of you guys messaging me thinking that something happened. Some of you guys thought I died. I'm still alive and kicking, guys. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to like this video to help wake up the algorithm for the channel. And we'll see you guys on all the new episodes. I'm telling you, man, it's messed up. The way they do those elephants, the way they lock them up, just to profit off the tourists that come through. Who cares? They're also getting free food, free shelter, and bathed after. So what's the problem? Yeah, and they don't have to worry about getting eaten alive by lions and tigers. They're safe. That's like asking a human if they'd rather have their freedom or live life in some prison. Prison? Yeah, I mean, a guy in prison gets free food, shelter, and a place to sleep at night, so he should be happy, right? My point exactly. What are we without our freedoms, man? What's everybody ranting about over here? Hey, Officer Richard, what's going on, man? Uh, guys, this is Officer Richard Gardner. He used to speak at our elementary school for the D.A.R.E. program. Found out we were neighbors when I got older. Richard, uh, these are my buddies Evan and Marcus. Nice to meet you, boys. Nice to meet you. Uh, Marcus was telling us about his trip to Thailand, you know, how they keep the elephants locked up out there in chains. They tie them down by their ankles so that tourists can get photos with them. Aww. Well, it's animal cruelty. You can see some of the elephants have scars uh, on their bodies. Officer don't care. He don't care because he races anyway. Bodies from where trainers used to hook them. They practically turn them into slaves. So what's wrong with that? Oh, what's oh, wrong with that? oh, he said, so what's wrong with that? Like, that's how you know he racist. Yeah, he don't because that's the same thing he do. Is that a serious question? The way I see it, we're doing these elephants a favor. If we let them rain around their own devices, they might get killed out in the wild by some wild creature. These elephants ain't very bright creatures. You know what I mean? Marcus? Okay, uh, let's oh, just agree Oh, oh, and then he says anyway, Marcus. We... Hex nozzle. He's separating Marcus from everybody else. Mm-hmm. We're about to place a fast. Don't be rude. Let your friend speak. You're rude. You're rude. Marcus, do you have an issue of the way this power structure is designed in this world? I think if left unchecked, those in power tend to abuse their power. Yeah. So balance out the world. Those empowered. God created people like yeah. me. He 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 making that go towards you. That's what he he talking about you. To take up for the other side and keep things fair. But that's just my opinion. What do you think, Officer Dick? I think I think I better get back to work and you boys stay out of trouble. <laughs> What's he about to do with that gun? All right, well, let's just get back into the game. The whole conversation really freaked me out. Chris, you're up next. I don't think his friends really got what the officer were aiming at. Was aiming at like they they know the conversation wasn't right, but at the same time, it's like. I don't think they comprehend that they the officer was racist towards Marcus. Richard Buchanan, badge number 3136. I don't know, Cuzzo. Just look into it for me. Something about this guy is just not right. And the way he was talking to me. I mean, yeah, I'll look into him now, but I gotta tell you, there's not much that can be done if he hasn't committed any kind of foul play or acts or done anything to cause a suspension. We can't fire someone based off of suspicion. Oh, what was that? Shoot. You getting pulled over? Yeah, man. I think he must have caught me on the phone or something. Alright, well, no biggie. Pull over and let him know that you're on the phone with the chief of police's son. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of people was tired. The down chief, with. the chiefs of Just police. Just check into it for me. Maybe I'm overreacting. It's him. Did he get off the phone with him? Roll your window down, please. It's you. Yes, it's me. Caught you speeding a little faster over there. I even think I caught you on the phone. Were you following me this whole time? Maybe. Why? We never got to finish our conversation. You know about the elephants? Yo, there's got to be some type of law against following people around. It's called racial profiling, and it's not against the law. It's just frowned upon. Now, give me your driver's license and your registration. What? He said it's not against the law. It's just frowned upon. That's because it's, it is frowned upon, and it's against the law. The vehicle. On what grounds? A probable cause. Hmm. Even it smells like marijuana in here. I'll step out. Marijuana? Wow. No, it does not. I've never tried marijuana a day in my life. He don't That's even smoke marijuana. Remember, this world is run by those in power. And you're the elephant. And I'm the trainer with the hook. Now get out the vehicle. Let's go. All right, stand right here. Stand right there. Try to get you out of the cool. Try to get behind the vehicle. Right here. Get your hands behind your back. You have anything? Wow. You know what? I'm kind of glad you're profiling me right now. Because when you check my record, you're going to see that it's squeaky clean. In fact, I graduated from UCLA with a master's in earth sciences. You're going to look stupid. You ever wonder how they train those baby elephants not to leave those small wooden stakes? Excuse me? You see, when they're babies, these trainers tie their ankles to these heavy metal shackles. And then they tie the other end, these concrete blocks very deep into the ground. And for the first year or so, these baby elephants will pull and kick to get free. But after years and years of tugging and going nowhere, eventually these elephants give up. They accept the fact that they're not going anywhere. So what is he trying to say? And when they become adults, the trainers tied them to this small wooden peg buried into the ground and hammer it into the dirt because they know at the moment the elephants feel any type of resistance, it doesn't even bother trying to get free anymore. You see, they've been conditioned at a young age, Marcus. Kind of like so he's saying people. you haven't been conditioned, so he's going to condition him? Oh. You grow up knowing you're not going to amount to nothing. Oh, wow. So why even bother, right? The only elephant in this situation is the trunk sitting in my pants. Ask your wife about it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, I he turned off his camera. Oh, now he about to do something. He turned off his camera. They supposed to keep that on at all times. See who's laughing when the department finds this loaded weapon in the back of your car. What? That's not mine. And you know that. Sure it is. It was used in a homicide case that we've been trying to solve since last week. As a matter of fact, one of the witnesses describes the gunman that got away as African American. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, he really got to oh, keep. What's the matter now, Marcus? Like you ain't laughing now, Mr. Elephant Man. No, but he will be when he sees your ass in jail. Uh, That's right. I was recording the entire conversation. Who the hell are you, and where did you come from? My name is Jake. Jake Fisher, son of Lieutenant Fisher, your boss. Ha. I found a weapon on him. No, you didn't. I was on the phone and heard the entire conversation. Oh. But right now, oh, you're the he elephant. kept him on the phone, so he is the son of the lieutenant. In this situation, and I'm Captain Hook. Now let my friend go. Turn around.
If I were you, I'd turn in my badge and move to another country. Because once this video gets released, you're going to be joining the rest of your elephant friends in prison. <laughs> yeah. And don't worry, Officer Dick. I heard prison comes with all the free food, shelter, and free sex all your elephant ass can handle. <laughs> Dang. I hope you enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make yep, he knew he was caught. He knew he couldn't do nothing. He All he had to do was walk away. That's all he can do, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.